meetings with mm -hmm. respect to the insurance people, Ron, I think you might remember those. I remember mm -hmm. them. <laughs> I remember them. Uh -huh. Yes, they were. <laughs> and, and we had a lot less to work with in way of insurance, in, of assurances and experience in that situation. And we knew we, we were going to have here. claims, too. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and, I, and it worked out, I think, one of the things that he candidly said is true is that in, that libraries are not terribly risky mm -hmm. in general. Um, I guess I'm persuaded that we should do it. And I, I, I am too. I just have one asterisk, if, if, if this makes sense to the board, um, is, is still to have Heather reach out. I don't, I don't think John should come back to spend more time with us, but just to have a conversation with him, unless you think it's a waste of your time, Heather, or his time, but just to see what kind of role he might provide for us as somewhat of a safety net, to your point, Ginny, about, you know, maybe we, we do have him on as a, for a year as a consultant. Even, you know, and, but and what do you, you see were, him doing? I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I, yeah. I, clear, I don't have a clear idea of it, but it was suggested by the Lira people and so that's they, they made that comment early on that a lot, some several libraries have had him stay on in some kind of consulting capacity. So that kind of piqued my that was like a flag for me to pay attention to, and that's why I raised the question I later. I can offer a suggestion. Yeah, but I think that the issues that we have any concern about might be easier to navigate with John providing some consulting support for us to help with making sure that our coverages within Lyra are set up to our maximum benefit. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. It would not be a terribly difficult thing for him to do. And remember that he recommended that we look in this direction. Mm -hmm. um, he's obviously approaching a point where he's going to step back yeah. from True North. So, um, this would represent a transition that it would, in, would provide us with a person who has had a, a long-standing relationship with our insurance situation, helping us make this process go as smoothly as possible. And as we know, and as Kathleen pointed out before, he's he's done very good work for us in terms of, of terms of being our advocate when we've had insurance issues, mm -hmm. and 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 we would still have a cost savings by going with Lira versus going with the other proposal we we dealt with today, mm -hmm. and still provide ourselves with insurance for the insurance, if you will. Right. So I, I think it's at least worth having the conversation to see what cost there might be to, to yeah, have it. He in, might only decide sorry. to do something like that for a year. It, right, which know. is what we, which is, I think right. we need By a, that time. if we but have a bridge. The costs, yeah. and in the coverage fixed for the library in terms of what they're offering? What Lyra, what Lyra yeah. is? Yeah, but I'm just, but, 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 but what, we, what we talked to John about, and whether it's an hourly rate or if he would charge a flat yeah, fee. Yeah, I mean, I'm not so sure we need to do that. That, that wouldn't, that's, that's not that's giving not me more the, comfort. Okay, well, it was, not, it, I just feel yeah. like it was worth having the conversation at least to illuminate what is what he might be able to bring us in terms of value or not. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't mind having John help us if we thought we needed it, but I think the issue is not really, that's not really that's the, not issue. the issue. <laughs> the issue is, and, and I don't know that it's a problem, because if, they go, if this company goes out with an established company, goes out to bid, has these coverages, all I have to, there doing sort of the same thing that an insurance brokerage Broker firm do. mm -hmm. does, right. except they're sort of non-profit. That's the whole point. Instead right. of profit being going to the folks, John's company, it's the insurance company. So it seems to me that we really, it's the insurance companies, and these are established insurance companies. There's, I don't think there's that much risk. There's not that much of a downside. I don't think so. But I don't think there's any harm in saying, John, you know, you know, just, just, just have a conversation. Yeah. 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 Hold your hands forward, though. That's what yeah. I'm trying to get a feel for. Yeah, I, 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 I don't I think that's really necessary. What is he holding your hands for? I think, I don't think if there's it. nothing for him to do, our relationship with him is good enough that he would tell us that. Yeah, that's how, that's how I feel. It's just worth having the, asking the question, and, and then, but again, it may, like you all, like you're saying, maybe he'll say it's not worth your time or money, but but yeah. there's just maybe something he can suggest based on because it was also a suggestion he's worked with some other libraries that are now in the Lyra group, so. Um. True. Um, 
Oops. So there's a motion on the floor. Uh -huh. <laughs> then moved and seconded. Why don't we just go ahead and have a vote on that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, the motion is to enter uh, to enter into a relationship to get our insurance through Lyra. That's what's been moved and seconded. Mm -hmm. Jan, could you? Um, uh, I vote is yes. We'll go ahead with Lyra. Jan, could you call the roll on that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Trustee Johnson. Aye. Trustee George. Aye. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee. Arshus, yes, and Trustee Wolf. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, and thank you for taking the time. Now, the motion did not set an amount. I, um, I think the bids uh, deal with that, but if you felt there was a need, we could specify the amount in their bid as the... Well, he's, they've got a bid in there. That's right. There is a bid amount, which I think 35, is 35084. Right. Mm -hmm. We can amend it to put an amount in there, but yeah, I don't... Maybe, maybe no more than 40000 or 42000 something like well, that. Well, but why no add why? that in? Because then we're right back... Well, up I don't think it's necessary. I don't I'm think just... you have to put that in. Okay, I don't know. Get you to enter into okay. a contract. Right. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. next is... Uh, my pen. I lost my pen. There it is. Um, Um, draft of the, we've got a lot of things here. We've, we've got the draft of the annual report. We've got the draft of the fund ride. Well, some of this you could punt till next month if you Can want. we just postpone, can we postpone the per capita month? Well, what is month? your annual report coming out? Well, the annual report's coming out, yeah. but the fundraising letter we could wait till November if you want. We wanted. usually get that out right after Thanksgiving. Yeah, after Thanksgiving. Comments, can we just give can them we to you for the annual report? Hmm? Don't usually How do you want to do it, Catherine? Yeah. No, yeah. We, can, right we can do the per capita, the per capita grant discussion in November, yes, right? Yes, we sure okay, can. Okay, so let's, let's move that over to, um, to November. To November. And the fundraising letter, that's up to you. That could be moved as well, um, if you prefer. Have we looked at it? Yeah. Yes. Do yeah. we well, have any comments? Talk about the, Jan, I'm, have you proofread I'm, this? <laughs> well, I was going to, not that letter, but... <laughs> The, uh, okay. The annual All right. Report. So I'm let's talk about the annual report, and then if Jenny, we. I'm waiting for you. Did you pick up the typo? Yes. Huh? No. No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> I did pick up a typo in the Lira. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just a very small thing on the second page, uh, fourth, fifth line down. Women votes. What a. Well, women voters. Oh, this is the yeah. women voters. Yeah. Yeah. Should be women voters. Uh, is that in everybody's copy? Or yes. Oh, you don't know. Know. oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah this and is a draft for sure. Yeah. Okay. And then it. also, yeah, I don't know if this matters since it is just a draft, but on the first page, mm -hmm. the math is probably not right in terms of how many visitors we have per day. Because oh, if you do the math yes. of the 330,000 visitors, that's divided by 365 days. But we closed the library at least 12 days over the course I of the year. I didn't divide by 365. Oh, you didn't? Because like, when I did the math, I got 93, 90. 936 people. Oh, no, I did it by like 358 Three? or something. Oh, I did 353 because I, I thought we were, closed. were we closed 12 days. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, well, the math, I just, so I, I didn't know how many days we were closed in 2000. I will double check the math. The, whatever, yes. Yes, okay. thank you. I think we were, we're going to be closed 12. Days. Right, so I just assumed yeah. 12 for 2017, but I wasn't sure if we were yeah, closed you, more or. You need to vote on the holiday close. Or we, did, we did, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. All right. So now we know how often yeah. we're closed. That's for next year. <laughs> I will tell you. We check typically them out. also okay, close, and it's not on there for the staff day too. That's one yeah, of that's the day. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought I got all the days okay, off, I, I but I, I, I could be wrong. I just, I'll double yeah, check. I wasn't sure how many days we were closing 2007. Yeah, I'll double check. Any reason why you're focusing on our library is a safe place in that second paragraph from the director's corner? No, not necessarily. I'm I mean, curious. It's just a, so why would it be unsafe? I don't know. It's not a, I, it was just a, you know, I, I like to say welcoming, friendly, safe, warm, you know. I'm open to any sort of other adjectives you would prefer. <laughs> and are these the final photos or are these yeah. placeholder photos or are. Mm. 
the, uh, they are placeholder for Okay, because I, the, the, just a general comment, I, I assume they were placeholder. I think some of the photos at least convey what we want, which is there are several, folder, several photos that show library staff members in action, and it's very clear that they're in action with, with, with members of the community. And there's a few others that are close-ups where it's hard to tell. You could be in an airport, let alone the library, you know, or, or an environment that a librarian is, a library person is, is leading an event. So if, as long as the photos are more, you know, along the lines of, um, on, on page two again, both of those work well, where it's very clear that there's a library staff member in the one photo with a group of people, which I think is good, because you, you've got people, you know, from the community with the librarian, and the second one is obviously in the library with the stacks. Um, but there's a couple, like, the, you know, there's a couple of them where, like, there's a, a cute shot of a man with a, like, with a young child, but you can't tell where That's they true. are, uh -huh. you know, and even the kid, the kid with the cute glasses where he is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. the nice thing is, is we did a professional photo shoot of our patrons. Okay. So, <laughs> none of these are stock photos. Oh, okay. you know, so, I didn't think they were stock photos, yeah. just, just in terms of what, in terms of, again, making sure we convey something that's very, very clearly, clearly identifiable to the library or library staff or library item. Okay. Um, that, that's what, that's my, my feedback. Okay. Thank you. Minor little thing we might just, assuming this is going to all met folks, uh, we may just thank them for the property taxes. Thank you for your support. Well, that's in the letter, but you probably could do that there too. You can never go wrong, right? There's a line here. The library is funded primarily. You could sort of say something. Yeah, that's yeah, like this one. Okay. And the nice thing about doing it online, there's a number of nice things, but one is the interactive part. So if someone's really interested in diving a little deeper into certain areas, they can just click and it'll it'll include it. But also it means we can change it. Right. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. like, yeah, you beautiful. know, yeah. over time, like we we add things to it or, you know, uh, things that are no longer applicable we won't need. So I love that. Mm -hmm. idea that it's it's an evolving document. So will this be print or digital? It will be primarily digital. I mean, we'll have the, you know, the short uh, brochure in the library for print for people who come to the library. We won't mail it out, but we will so have like this. So are you going like to put a summary in as we talk about in November, December? Yes, we have a, a teaser, as we call it. Yes, a summary teaser. Yeah, we see that. I'm more interested in that because I pay more attention to that than this. If you want to see it before you go, it's in the boardroom right now, actually, okay. uh, our newsletter. Yeah. I know, I think Lisa, you were talking a little bit about the return on investment mm -hmm. uh, to the community, not so much to the park holder. And I think you had said maybe there were some things you thought the library. Well, but she did the RO calculator because they do try it and see what she could. That looked like to the individual that had it. That it, it is individual because I think people are more concerned about what they get out of it for their dollars. So I think if you take so many books or whatever, I don't think you can do return on investment. It might be tough, but the it's more we can so figure that well, out. Well, I did put a note in there of the statistic. Is it on this version? It's the very uh, last one that on for the every, finish. on average, every dollar you spend in property taxes gets you back four dollars and fifty-six cents in that? services. Great. That is in our uh, current Inside Edition, mm -hmm. okay. um, mm -hmm. which we were going to include in this as well. Okay. So it's more of a national statistic because sure. we don't have like it's a it's a granular yeah. met one yet. Right. The only other thing is, um, you better be clear that it is that that's. It's from ALA, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the not, source. That's in, um, if you look in your folders, it's on the inside edition. Of, oh, is it this month? No, no. Okay. Well, there's a WPL Insider. Oh, you know what? No, it's in our newsletter. That's what it is. It's in that, it's in our new newsletter. Okay. Right. Which you haven't right. seen yet. I'm sorry. And you might just want to say, in terms of shaping your digital world, I don't know what you mean when you say digital world. But when I went and read what you said, I would just say we upgraded computers and enhanced the website. In terms of that little point, to be more specific as to exactly because enhancing experience a major digital expansion could be a whole lot of things. Yes, um, we do ha provide more details in the final report. But I think well. you've got enough to write to some. For example, we upgraded compute. We upgraded all computers. Okay. And enhanced mm -hmm. the website because mm -hmm. those were the two biggest things we had. Uh -huh. And I went and looked at that stuff, and then. All right. This sentence is sort of long. Uh, our, uh, growing our creative collections, I just said our collections play a central role in our services, period. 
Because they know it's a past year, and just say we've expanded our office offerings, just make it two sentences, because it reads sort of long. Mm. And then the other thing that you brought up in terms of, I would bold this IRO. ROI, you'll have something where they can just click on. Right, it's a whole a page color. in and of itself. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a calculator page that will be designed. Was there any way, because there was a, that formula that I gave you, that the, the, the connection to that website, was there any way that you all could take a look at what the return on investment is for the Wilmette Public Library? Um, on that kind of granular level, we don't really have the statistics at this time to do that. Okay, but did you see, because they weren't, did you see the, the link that I sent uh, was it from another person in terms of how it was just a form that could be? It were basic things, I think, in terms of. Yeah, I, I, would, I think that would be a great goal for next year because I think we need to discuss or you guys think about, like, um, because it depends what you want to include in that. Like, some people include um, services, for example, like that one-on-one -on -one tech help and they price it out. Mm -hmm. Other people mm -hmm. don't include that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They just price out, say, the cost to a taxpayer if they had to buy a book. Right, exactly. Right, yeah. that yeah. kind of cost is easy to calculate. But then the other kinds of things, like services, I think it would be good to have that discussion of, of what we want to price out and what we don't. Right, because you're, you're lessening the economic 